Hello, this is G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. Let's put that new void bottle to use and see if it'll help us get their artifact in the possible history there. Uh, also, since last time, one thing I did was I fought a few battles to try, or well, to get uh, Stock's monoburst gauge back up to full because he got hit with that tension down that, well, killed it. And I need that for the next boss fight. So, yeah, we got all that ready to go. Skip to where we use the bottle. There you are. You'll see who's truly in charge this time. Stock? What are you gonna do? Get inside. Whoa! Is it... Your bottle's pulling her in! Is it working? Uh-oh. Come. We need to finish it off. Let me a hand, you two. Not again. For boss time. Okay, so the we first thing so we want to do here we is use Stock's Phantom Gain to kill all the archers and... What was he up? And the mages in the back there. I'll exterminate you. Then just put an ice trap right behind... <laughs> The only survivor there. If I can ever get my turn again, thank you. And then just push him on to it to finish him. Huh. Pretty easy. We've won. Ooh, Erica's close to learning a pretty important spell coming up here. Maybe I'll get it in the next boss fight. What, you got a black hole in that thing? She went in. Good. It's over. Stock. What was that? I don't know. Proof that there are magical tomes in this world beyond just the White and Black Chronicles. Oh, really? Goodness. How many are there? Oh, what, what did you get? What, it just became dirt after you sucked it in there? Evidently. Come. Let's return to the others. Well, you guys return to the others, and I'll just go back to the ship and get my reward. Welcome aboard, Stock. Were you able to contain my copycat? Something like that. I was. Here she is. I don't know how dirt qualifies as an artifact, but I'll just go with it. You deserve an A plus, Stock. Thanks. This is another step towards stopping the desertification. What about that red tome the guy had? You're not gonna tell us, are you? Interesting. Without my form to mimic, it reverts to humble soil. I'll let you keep the bottle. Oh, thanks. Strange that an artifact would manifest as dirt, don't you think? Is it? They call it Mother Earth for a reason. Soil is the source of life that births possibility. What does that have to do with being an artifact? But soil without potential is nothing but sand. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. Just kidding. Oh. That's just one way of thinking. I make it a point to learn about as many viewpoints as I can. Well, can you explain the magical tome that they had? That aside, thank you as always. It'd be a big no-no if you pushed yourself too hard. So rest up. We already got our HP and MP restored, though. But, okay, we're done with that. Now for the final quest there. Let's see, I want to move those over to Marco. And I'm not worried about the war I'm in right now. So let's see, yeah, get all this stuff on Marco to get his magic stat as high as possible. And let's see, for Ot, let's, where are they? Ah, there we go. Yeah, let's go with Thunder Chimes. There's no elemental weakness to exploit, but I want to boost my Thunder Elemental damage like this anyway. And yeah, that ought to be good. Danger and artifacts go hand in hand. Be prepared for anything. Well, yeah, that is true. Ready for your next assignment? Hmm, is this about Garland? 
You'll be disembarking at a new timeline for Cygnus. Seems the king himself has the artifact. Well, that should be easy to get then. Garland. Bring him back in one piece, okay? Sounds like a plan. Wonder if they're gonna have another tournament for us to fight. How many gladiator battles do they have in this game, anyhow? Well, what's going on up there? Oh! Is he trapped in there? I know Cygnus is a mercenary nation. This seems a bit too chaotic, even for them. Well, yeah, that is true. Damn. Mm. Oh. So, what happened to Garland, then? Oh, yeah. Well, that is mm -hmm. true. He did have a grudge on him. Damn. Damn nuts. <clears throat> so, how's he gonna get out if he's just locked himself in there? Oh, well, yeah, of course. But, alright, let's check it out. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, I guess it's talking about these two guys? Hey! Enough! Well, what else are you gonna do as a mercenary besides what kill people? It? Oh, okay. Hey! Mm. I hope we have enough barrels of explosives to get through all that. But yeah, all you need to do to advance the plot is walk up to the pile of boulders here. They've also blacked it out of the castle. Hmm. If only there were an item that could help us get past all those boulders. Oh. So, where, where do we stand now? How did he get all those boulders there, anyway? But yeah, the regular barrels of explosives, they don't work on this. Because there's too many. Hmm. If only there were an explosives expert that could help us get past all those boulders. Well, let's take a look around here first. You don't have to go around here, but we might as well yes. see what they're saying about Bram. And the... What's up? The Desert Crows? Yeah. Oh, really? Hmm. Okay, what do you sell? Just more mana crystals? Oh, okay, never mind then. Then why are you staying here? Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh-oh. I don't know how he's gonna pull that off, but all right. Uh. What toll? What, just to walk down the street? Oh, okay. Never mind, then. Well, let's see. What's going on at the bar here? Oh, good for you! <laughs> oh, why was that? Oh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Causing the end of the world on a couple occasions. <laughs> Not anymore! Yeah, I guess so. Well, not yes. if we have anything to say about it. Oh, reminds me of Final Fantasy IV. 
see if they got anything going on at the end there. Besides, we can't do anything more around here anyway. We're gonna have to go back to uh, either standard or ultimate history. Can I even... Oh, okay. No, I can't rest up here. Okay, never mind, then. Oh, hey, Ricky. What are you doing here? Oh. I wonder what happened to him. Well, that is the general idea, I would think. Anyone else staying around here? Well, how are the rooms already booked if no one's here? How does it even work? But all right, yeah, we need to... Well, find a way to get past all those boulders. And we need to talk to an explosive expert to do that. So, let's see. Let's go to, yeah, this node here. Yeah, this is about as close as we can get to Scala. Here they come. At least where we need to go. Or when we need to go. I'll protect you. Okay. So yeah, unfortunately we do we do have to just walk all the way to Scala, but yeah, just one set of boulders to get past the, in this timeline. Whoop! No, I don't want to go there. I want to go to Scala. There you go. I knew you could do it. Okay, let's get past all this and let's go talk to Tarkin. Hey, how's it going? Tarkin, there's something I'd like to ask you. Yes. A while back, you taught me how to use explosives. Is there any way to increase their potency? More explosives! That's correct! Maybe add some gasoline to the fire? Tell me, please. Yes. Oh. Why would you do that? Oh, really? So, I need to get my hands on some of this alcohol thing. That's correct! Ah, well, then why bother suggesting it? Ah, oh, okay. So it's impossible to get a hold of, even in Cygnus. So yeah, if you tried going to the bar at Cygnus in Standard History, they would just say, hey, I'm out of it, or something like that, I think. I think they actually would say something about that. So we can't go there, we need to go to alternate history instead. Or not alternate, uh, pos the possible history that we were just at a moment ago. Okay, so let's try that one again. Don't bother going up to the boulders, there's nothing we can do there right now. Although I do want to change my party around. Let's see, yes, yeah, let's bring Ox in there. We should be good to go then. So we gotta go to the bar here in order to get those, or the alcohol that we're looking for. Hey, how's it going? Yes. Hello there. I'd like to buy a bottle of your finest alcohol. Uh, that is if the mer merchant, or not merchants, uh, mercenaries haven't bought all of it yet. Oh. Oh, hey. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure what that means, but okay. That's all right by me. I'll take it. Yes. Oh, thanks. Not sure there's going to be enough alcohol for all those boulders, but we might as well try. Don't want to make them too powerful, though. They might blow up the whole city. Holy cow! Or they might blow up the arch behind the boulders and just cave in anyway. Okay, so, yeah, let me just double check my setup here. Okay, we've got general charms, general charms, and thunder charms. That ought to be good. Well, hopefully this doesn't lead to another bad ending. Just have to do exactly as Tarkin told me. There. 
Hopefully this works. Oh, you're just gonna pour the alcohol on the explosives, not the boulders there. At least, I'm guessing that's what he's doing. Hey! Wow. It really worked. <laughs> oh! So, what are you guys gonna do now? Hey. But he is king. I won't let him escape. He's not a wannabe if he actually is that already. But all right, let's take him down. Hey, let's go. Ha ha. Well, you were right. Ah, so that's how he became king. Well, what is your kingly power? Understood. Strong as you may be, I have no intention of losing to you two. Well, I'm not playing to lose either. I'm playing to win for boss time against the Desert Crows. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, so Marco, I want him to get magic boost going on Ox there. And then, let's see. What I want to do is get both of them into the back row there, if I can. So let's go with our Volt Star Trap, and then use a Left Assault there. This'll do the trick. This'll get him. Yeah, they don't have any elemental weakness, but we do want to take out... What was that? Yeah, we do want to take out Hertz first, so that way... What was it? Oh, yeah, because he can do the healing and all that. Okay, so, let's see. If I push you there, and then, let's see. I need to do a right assault here, and then we go with our Volt Star Trap. That should be enough to take out Hurts. Yeah, this will get him. I can't go on. And, let's see. Yeah, yeah once, you, once he buffs himself up like that, then... You want to always keep him in the back row, but that should be enough to take him down. And if necessary, I don't think I'll need the extra damage, but we'll just do that just in case. Ooh, close. Good thing I did that. Easy enough. Blues? No way. That was a close one. Ha ha. Damn it! Ha uh, uh. So, what do you give us, then? Apologies, but I'm not interested in claiming the throne. No, I just wanted to spread utter chaos and anarchy in the region. I'll just take whatever you have in your pocket instead. Huh? Yeah, what is that, anyway? Oh. Well, too bad about the boulders. Uh-oh. Not again. Damn it all. How many of these gigantic spiders do I gotta fight anyway? It hurts. It'll be too dangerous with only the two of you. Let me help. <laughs> well, I already did. Oh. Hey. Thanks. Hey, all right. How you fit a crown into your pocket, I don't know. <laughs> hey. Well, maybe you can make a deal with Garland to uh, take down Hedge and those hell spiders. But yeah, we don't need to help them out. We got what we came for. I have the artifact. Well, that ends well, I suppose. Yep, just leave them to a slow and horrible death. Welcome back, Stock. 
How did things go in the other sickness? Not well, but I got what I came for. They were on the verge of battle when I left. But a nation with Cygnus's pedigree will survive. They have a strong warrior acting as king, after all. I didn't think he was that strong. Anyway, here's the artifact. But, yeah, we got what you came for. Exceptional as ever. Thanks. And what do we get for our reward? Huh. Some kind of accessory. I... I don't remember what that does. But I suppose we can find out in a moment. Okay, so... Yeah, let's take a look at that. Oh, okay, a whole bunch of status resistances that I really don't care about. But it's available. There actually are some really good accessories for status resistance, but not right now. Okay, so... Well, that's all the quests we can do for Nemesia now. So let's actually, yeah, get back to, where were we? Let's see. Yeah, chapter six in alternate history. And, well, we're gonna head to Grand Org to find Hugo. I would think he'd wanna stay home, but he can go there. We have shown them the dread power of our weapon twice, yet they still resist. Well, you're gonna have to kill them all. I knew Raoul would not simply roll over, but to put up such a fight is rather impressive. Most impressive. It seems the only way to stop them is to obliterate them. Yeah, pretty much. Fennel, make ready our divine judgment. I told you before, stop using that sensationalist term. This is the result of Pharmatech engineering. Not some kind of pretend god's display of power. Well, close enough. Not that you could tell that to the faithful if your life depended on it. <laughs> hmm, I like Fennel. If the power of Flux is at our disposal alone, then it is not so different. Oh, so you're divine now. Yeah, pretty much. You're truly declaring yourself a god. It does have a nice ring to it. Well, yeah, that is true. Now ready the weapon. Impossible. The control unit's adjustments will take time. Then hurry to it. I keep telling you, it's impossible. But you could just get started now. Even with Ethereon in use, the power of mana damages the machinery. Oh, okay. So that's what they're using it for. The slightest miscalculation could cause an explosion, and then, poof, we'd have one big desert. We already have one big desert. That's what happens when you don't heed my warnings. You used it too quickly. Enough excuses. The rebel army is at our doorstep, and your head is at stake here too. Well, I'm not gonna go kill Fennel. I suggest you make do with the army you have on hand. If you can hold them off for a month or so, Alistair's Thautomatons might be ready. A month? A month? Preposterous! I can't wait over a month! Maybe you should have thought about that before declaring war on the rest of the continent. Wasn't it you who said army policy considers the long view, or something to that effect? What about the thought machines you already got? If the control unit had been at full capacity, the Sand Fortress would have been a rebel grave. It seems someone is in a foul mood today. What happened to that unshakable confidence? Well, it went away when the machine broke, I guess. Hey, how's it going? Haven't seen you in a while, Heist. Do not mock me. I am quite calm. <laughs> well, they say the best laid schemes of mice and men go off to ride. So why not consult the prophet Noah? <laughs> I'm sure he will offer his gracious words to provide the inner peace you seek. <laughs> uh, I love your snarkiness, Heist. When I am in the mood for jest, I will call upon the fool. 
So, Noah cannot be depended upon in this dire hour. What then will you do? Yeah, not in this timeline. I just need to buy time. Fortunately, we have the perfect pawn to accomplish that with. What do you mean? I see. Fodder before the cannons, is it? Not bad. You'd best entertain me at the least. Well, we should depart for Granorg. Stock, please lead the way. Yeah. Let's see, I don't think we can even go into the Sand Fortress. Nope, nope, we're stuck where we are. Oh, no, I wanted to try talking to one of the goo trolls if I can. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do got the Ethereon. Something like that, yeah. But, okay, that's all we can uh, do around here. Now, let's see, as far as what I want to do, let's see, let's bring Erika and Gafka into the party. That is going to be the group that I'm using for now, though I'm not going to, like, actually fight any enemies at this point. So I will take care of them later. There is one thing I want to do here. Uh, if you recall from... What was that quest? The god or the beast god's birth or whatever? Well, yeah, they were saying that ancient Gutrol, whoever it was, fought a battle at the Grand Plain. And what, it, what was it? I think he had like a. Well, he had some sort of item for becoming the beast god or whatever. So let's see. Well, you might remember this little grave marker here. This is... <laughs> Who's there? Ah, hey, hey! So you're Master Burgess' senior disciple, Golda. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's me. That's the general idea, yes. You are correct. Hey, all right. Oh, that was easy enough. Listen. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. Well, what do you mean? Well, we do need the power, or as much power as we can get. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Discarding my humanity. So, in order to put that to use, we gotta go back to Galva. And Fortune, there. The, the little monkey out there. And, let's see, is there anything else I need to do here? No, I think we're good. Let's just... Well, get back to where we need to go. Let's see. Ah, good. We got a save point here. Yeah, yeah because, because uh, well, yeah, I'm going to have to go back to Fortune there. But can Gafka become the Beast God with the help of the nail? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. This is H.G. Bailey signing off. Have a good day. <laughs>